Welcome back. In this session, we are going to look at metrics. So when we looked at the dashboards, we saw the three metrics or even six. So that was the pipeline activity and trigger successful runs and the failed runs. So that is all we got access to in this dashboard. But if you want to look at the other metrics available within Data Factory, you will have to come into the notifications alerts and metrics and you can click on metrics and that takes you to Azure Data Factory. So instead of going through the options within Data Factory to come to Azure Monitor, you can come straight to Azure Monitor from your Azure portal. And you need to click on metrics here. And now that the list you all the resources available within your subscription. And we got our resource within the COVID reporting RG and the data factory is the COVID reporting project to learn ADF. Let's select that. And if you click apply, you can see all the metrics available within the data factory. So that'll be the canceled activity runs, elapsed time for the pipeline run, which is quite useful. And you've got the failed activity runs. And then you've got the integration runtime metrics there. You've got a couple of metrics on the data factory itself, so which is the allowed entities count and the allowed data factory size. And similar to that, you would have the total entity count and the total data factory size at the end as well. And in between, you've got the succeeded and the stuck SSIS integration runtime and all of that, which is quite useful. So you've got quite a lot of metrics here and you can play with them here instead of just relying on the metrics you've got available within the data factory. So this allows you to create charts which you can pin your dashboard and you can look at them as well. In order to make it simpler, let's see whether we can get the succeeded pipeline runs. So I'm going to do succeeded pipeline run metrics. And we've done a sum. So you've got the option to some count, aggregate and things like that. So let's do a count, which is more appropriate for this. And you can look at it over 24 hours as you can see here. So you got the over 24 hours, you've had one around 5.30 p.m. and two around 6.30 a.m. And you can filter that to last 12 hours, last hour, where you've got plenty of options here. You can do last seven days or last 30 days. And you've got the custom, which will let you change any from until within the last 45 days as well. And if you click apply, so you got that and you can change this from a line chart into a bar chart, for example, or scatter plot or whatever. So let me change that to bar chart. As you can see here, when you come in in the morning, you can see what's happened that day by looking at the last 24 hours. That is quite useful. And if you have one like this for a failed run, so that'll be on your dashboard, you can very quickly look at it and then come back and fix the issue. So in order to pin this to dashboard, you can just click here, pin to dashboard, and we got this dashboard for COVID reporting projects. So let's pin to that one and you can pin there and you can also share your dashboard as well. So let's do pin to dashboard. And if I go back to my dashboard here, so that is our dashboard. As you can see here, I've had one of them. I've had this one previously. So this is the one we just pinned, which is the count succeeded pipeline runs metrics. So you can build a whole dashboard with all the metrics as you want available when you come in in the morning to look at. And that'll be quite helpful. And that's the way you make use of the metrics available to help. It's supporting the data factory. So that's the end of this metric session. And in the next session, we'll start looking at how to set the diagnostic settings within our data factory and look at the richer metrics available within data factory logs. I'll see you there.